Earlier this month, a harrowing discovery was made in Kenya's coastal town of Malindi, where bodies continue to be exhumed from shallow graves, believed to be of worshippers of a pastor who deceived them into believing that they would meet God if they starved themselves. So far, 110 bodies, mostly children, have been discovered, and now the Kenyan government has ordered a purge on preachers who are spreading fake gospel and sometimes orchestrating cults. Here's more. This was a story that left Kenya and the world in shock and horror. A man from the coastal town of Malindi, who was said to be a longtime preacher, deceived his followers and forced them to starve to death. He made them believe that starving was the only way to meet their creator. Paul McKenzie was arrested and arraigned. Soon after, over a hundred bodies, mostly children, were discovered in shallow graves. This forced the Kenyan president to react. Terrorists use religion to advance their heinous acts. People like Mr. McKenzie are using religion to do exactly the same thing. Family members are still coming to terms with the horror that befell them. Dozens of people thronged mortuaries to identify the remains of their relatives. Many held photographs of their loved ones. The morgue has rapidly filled up since authorities started digging up human remains from shallow graves discovered in an 800-acre area of the Shakahola Forest, where the church was based. Inside a hospital in Malindi, some of those who had been rescued lie on beds. Others ate whatever their bodies could take. We had problems until one day she came and took the kids and ran away. I followed and found out that she was living close to Pastor Mackenzie's church. I took the children back. She then returned home and pretended she was content. I warned her that if she goes back to that church, she should not return here. If you decide to go, leave my children here. Shanim Vidza, who was among the 30 who were rescued alive, insists she was not forced to join the church. Everyone has a free will to attend whatever church they want, whether you go to Ezekiel's church or wherever. You go as a normal congregant and I was one. There have been many survivors who have come out to tell their experiences with the beleaguered pastor including this taxi operator who was lured by McKenzie in 1997. But as fate would have it, he managed to escape his noose. As the tale continues to unravel, another pastor is facing the wrath of the authorities. Irked by McKenzie's purported actions, the government decided to rein in on churches who conduct sinister practices across the country and whose leaders are amassing exorbitant wealth mysteriously. The head of a church in eastern Kenya has been arrested over allegations of mass killings, and 100 of his followers have been evacuated from church premises. But this morning, we have arrested Pastor Ezekiel Ombok Odero of the New Prayer Center and Church at Mabuyeni, in Kilifi County. On allegations of the deaths that have been occurring at his premises and reported in various uh, mocks or institutions. A cult based in a forest in the same part of Kenya where authorities have found the dead bodies of a hundred followers in recent days. The deaths amount to one of the worst cult-related tragedies in recent history, and the toll is expected to rise further, with the Kenyan Red Cross saying over 300 people have been reported as missing. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One.